Okay, my friends, uh, a little bit of a bounce on this America's Mattress Live Tower Cam and, and off in the distance, and that's not too far. That's just over the elevated sites, mostly the plateaus to our north and east. That's where we're starting to see these darker clouds building up, a little bit gustier wind speeds and probably some light drizzle occurring at those elevations, those locations. Meanwhile, down low, we're still dealing with uh, the tree pollen. Allergy and Asthma Center of Western Colorado keeps this updated regularly. I'm sharing this information with you. It's just tree pollen right now. Grass is weed and mold uh, somewhat subdued in this environment. Let's talk temperatures for a moment because we were expecting this warm up and we got it. We've achieved mid 60s for Montrose, lower 70s at Grand Junction. Not official high temperatures for the day, but this is a glimpse at probably what we're going to see. Uh, don't expect any more warmth as we continue towards the sunset hour, which is now occurring just a little bit after the 8 o'clock timeline. Tomorrow afternoon, uh, temperature differences. Uh, yeah, we're going to take a little bit of a hit. There's actually a cold front, though it's almost May, so I might just start referring to it as a cool front. And it's going to pass down along and east of the divide, so the temperatures aren't really all that chilly tomorrow afternoon. You may notice a difference, nice little relief, but we're going to build it right back up into the weekend. Remember, uh, we're climbing into the 70s and 80s for the end of the weekend and the start of next week. Start of next week is the beginning of uh, new month, May. Wind speeds right now 10 to 15 miles per hour locally. That's what we're experiencing. Top gusts so far. I don't think we've achieved the top gust of the day. Um, I'm expecting a little bit greater than 30 miles per hour, so we have another 10 mile per hour kick available to us, and we still have several more hours of uh, this activity to go through. Uh, cold front itself, I stand corrected. The cool front not quite passing through the region, but we do have a wind advisory off towards the north. More impactful for the wind speeds in the northwest corner of Colorado, but even portions of Mesa County uh, up on the book cliffs and, and mostly rural areas. But uh, if you're driving over Douglas Pass, which is not an easy feat to do, uh, roads are dry, but it's snowbanks and wind, so take it easy. Uh, we don't have any red flag warnings locally. Uh, there are some severe thunderstorm warnings in the eastern plains right now, but uh, as far as radar goes for us, most of that, again, most of that activity in the form of rain is well to our north and to our northeast. Remember, we're just on the tail end of the system clipping through. And while we do maintain a chance of showers, you can see this. Uh, this this model is a little over exaggerated, uh, but I think we can hang on to a chance of at least a couple of drops of rain, a little bit of sprinkles. Once the cold front again, correcting myself, once the cool front passes through and, and remember all the while uh, mountain zones, especially along the divide are picking up some snow. Uh, once the cool front passes through, we will have some cooler temperatures to contend with and early in the morning Friday. That puts Montrose really close to seeing at least some snowflakes passing through. Oh, by the way, speaking of seeing anyone up around 3 a.m. this morning, see what was originally thought to be a meteor streaking across the sky it was actually a satellite reentering the atmosphere and it broke up. So it was phenomenal. I'm always telling you to look up if you've never seen a satellite reenter uncontrolled reentry. It could be a little disturbing because it breaks up and it fills the sky with a lot of lit debris streaking across the sky. My first was um, <laughs> I was beside myself, but let's get back on track. As far as rain goes, I, I really don't see a whole lot of opportunity to get it in the bucket. I mean, a tenth of an inch possible for Montrose and we have to wait through this evening. It's this is mostly uh, 10 p.m. through 3 a.m. for our rain chance. Winter weather advisory exists along the divide, portions of the front range and all the way down into Trinidad. So uh, again, it's east of the divide, picking up a little added moisture and surprise snow totals uh, with some of these delivery mechanisms. Not strong enough for a storm warning. Winter weather advisory expires tomorrow. Most of the snow, as you can see, highlighted in the darker blues down into the southern zone. So if you happen to be traveling uh, through Raton Pass, it's likely going to be winter like for you. So one low pressure system exiting into the uh, Arc Latex, Oklahoma. Well, actually, it's the Kansas, Missouri, Arkansas, Oklahoma, Foursquare. Uh, for us, though, we have our incoming system, and that's just what we're looking at to the north. So it will bring a little batch of moisture. It's not a promise. We still have dry conditions and we still have the wind tonight. Now we take a hit in the temperatures, not by much tomorrow. We're still keeping wind in the forecast. We're going to be breezy uh, tomorrow afternoon, especially and into next week. Now next week after the midweek period around Thursday, uh, we're going to experience another opportunity for storm system. But look at the temperatures for Grand Junction when we transition from April on Sunday to May on Monday. Same scenario for Montrose. That transition is middle 70 degree reading. So the weekend itself is looking and, and feels great looking at these numbers, looking at this forecast. So make plans to be outside. If you're around uh, area waterways, please 
Be careful, all these warm temperatures means we have heightened flood risks.